We're still in the easy part of the first module, so this is still an easy question. But if you're going too fast, it's very easy to make a mistake. You gotta make sure you're putting things where they're supposed to go. So in this case, the function f represents the total cost in dollars of attending an arcade when x games are played. They're telling you what all the letters mean. How many games can be played, so games are x, remember that, uh, for a total cost of $58, well the cost was the f, right? So we just need to create the equation here where we substitute, we plug points into equation, but we gotta make sure we're plugging into the right thing. So 58, is equal to 14 plus 4x. And I would just do this on my paper. I would not do this in my head. I would not open up Desmos for this. This is way too easy. But you know, you, you can, if you need to, subtract 50, 14 from 58 with the calculator. But yeah, that's 44 is equal to 4x and then divide by four and you get the correct answer, which is 11, right? So that's the answer. But the trap answer is what would you would get if you put uh, uh, the x uh, as 58. Right, so if you did this, you're gonna get some huge number. Let's see what it is, just so you can know if you did that. Four times 58 plus 14 is 246. So if you put 246, that's the trap, okay? It's easy to avoid just by paying closer attention, but like that's exactly the thing that they wanted you to do is kind of out of habit, substitute into x rather than into f of x, which is the y in this case. So even when we're using a very simple strategy like plug points into equations, you still gotta remember to plug the point in the right way, right? We sometimes only get half a point, so plug in the half that you get in the right spot. That's a very common mistake. The SAT will absolutely try to set you up to make that mistake at least once per test, probably more like five or six times per test.